This is going to describe the first relationship. It's going to describe what a positive relationship is. A positive relationship. One example of that positive relationship uh, we talked about yesterday. When your speed goes up, what happens to your stopping distance? It also goes up. So it goes in this type of relationship. Now, it may be more steep or less steep, but it still goes in a positive way. Now, look at this line from left to right. Which way does it go? Left to right, it goes. Right. Up. Sorry. From left to right, it goes up. It goes up toward that direction. That's positive relationship. The second type we looked at, or I could have come close to it, a best fit line would fit somewhere around here. What do you think that relationship is describing? Negative, negative relationship. Now, negative, as I said before, does not mean bad. It just means when one part that we're describing goes up, the other part goes down. down. And the example we talked about, the more items you purchase, the more items you purchase, the cost per item goes down. down. That's when you buy in bulk. Have you heard of that, buying in bulk? The reason you buy in bulk is because you can get more for less individually. Not you don't, You're still going to pay more overall, but each box of tissue is going to be a little bit less like we looked at yesterday. Okay. Sorry, Will? Okay. That's a negative relationship and the third type. I think I can fit it in here. We're going to call it no correlation. No correlation. So it doesn't have like a best line? There's no best fit line because some of you might be thinking, well, maybe it's right here. And some of you are like right there. Some of you maybe some of these horizontal lines. But in both of these, most of us would say the line is going to go from left to right up. I, I, I would say if we were doing it right, all of us would say left to right is going up. All of us would say left to right is going yeah. down. And then here we'd be scattered. We'd be like some of us are going up, some down, some straight. So there's no correlation. And the example here, I think this is where we ended it off. Even the year you were born... Uh, is a little, a little more st strong of a correlation, but just because you were born in April doesn't mean you're going to make more than someone who was born in March or someone who was born in December or February. Okay, It doesn't mean anything. So we call that no correlation. Another one uh, that I've seen in the past is the color of your hair determines the grade of your math year, whatever year. Is that going to determine it? So the lighter your hair color... The lower your grade. Or the lighter hair color, the higher your grade. I don't know. But does that have a relationship? And some of you are saying, hmm. hmm. It doesn't. It has no relationship. Who would you eye color? The darker your eyes. The darker your eyes. The darker your eyes. You do have very dark eyes. No view. <laughs> Look closely. All right, that's 6-3, and I want to look at a couple problems here. We're not going to actually get to, we're not going to actually get to draw our own, so that's sad, but it's going to happen. Go to page in your workbook now, so you should have your workbook. Don't close your textbook. I just want to finish off uh, this lesson. Page 179 in your workbook, 179 in your workbook. We're going to do half of one, half of another. So, great question. So we're doing half of this lesson, which ends 6-3. We're going to start half of 6-4. And tomorrow we're going to do the second half of 6-4, and then we're caught up. Yeah, because 6-4, uh, I want to spend some time on that one as well. This one is just because of time. Okay, let's look at uh, page 179. It should be 6-3. Let's look at number one. It says, decide whether a positive, negative, or no correlation may exist between... I don't want people calling out answers. I want people to listen, and uh, I'll call on people or maybe ask you all together at once. But question? 
Can you hold those for a little bit? I'll take them after class. Okay, looking at number one. This is how you determine that problem. It says length of vacation stay and expenses. So this is what you do. When the length of vacation stay goes up, what do you think goes with expenses? The, it goes up to the, the expenses go up, which means what kind of relationship positive. is that? Positive. positive. You would have written positive, which they did there for you. Okay, uh, number two, the eye color. You could say if it goes darker, what happens to the month of birth? It goes no, no, no correlation. There's no correlation on that. But Mr. A, I know of, okay, you may be able to give me a couple instances where someone who was born later in the year had darker eye color and someone born earlier has lighter, but that doesn't mean that's a correlation. That means one of your dots, may, two dots may be connected with the line, but how many dots am I looking at? A lot of them. The more dots, the better, because that's more info, and um, that's not going to fit a line. Okay, <clears throat> number three, when the temperature goes up, what happens to the elevation? It goes down. No correlation. Okay, a temperature goes up, technically elevation it goes, goes down. down. Yeah, like when you're in a place, <clears throat> it gets colder. colder. Yeah. The higher you are, the colder it gets, which means that's a negative. That would be a negative relationship. Well, see, that's the thing. You, if you didn't know that, I'm glad we covered that. But you should understand that the higher you go in elevation, like you go up a mountain, it tends to get what? Colder. Colder. So the temperature tends to go down. When you know Death Valley, has anyone been? Not not Death Valley, Clemson, yeah. but Death Valley, California. The other Death Valley, uh, the, the real Death Valley. Right Sorry, soul. <clears throat> Death Valley. It's so I've been there as a kid driving through it to get to Disneyland. You got to go to Death Valley to get to Disneyland from where I was at. It's very what in elevation? Low, and the temperature is very high. Yes. Yep. Yeah, and see, that's a good thought because, like in this room, it's warmer uh, at the top of this room than it is at the bottom. But when we're talking about like the atmosphere, you have like levels of heat. It's like level heat based on the pressure. Pressure is involved with that too. Here it's not noticeable. Good question. All right, let's go with number four, rainfall and the time of day. So raise your hand if you have a correlation. You either say positive, negative, or no. The time of day and the rainfall. And you can even switch them around. You can say, what happens if it's the time of day, like it gets later in the day? What happens to the rainfall? Well, rain. Okay, no so raise your hand. Yes, sir. No correlation. No correlation. Yeah, it can, yeah, some places will, but did they give us a specific place? No, they're just saying rainfall. Okay, how about this one? Uh, number five, hourly <clears throat> wage and number of years employed. Don't say it. Let's see who can not call it out loud. Okay, so our hourly wage. It goes up, or if hourly wage goes down, what happens to the number of years? Gracie, I see that hand. Uh, I would say no correlation. Okay, she so would say no correlation. Because Paul? Oh, go, oh, get, no, no, I want a reason. I want. Because, like, I don't think <clears throat> just, just like because you've worked there so long, I don't think you should have a favorite. I just feel Okay, it could, and some places, yeah. Um, like maybe you come in, you're new, and you're doing a way better job than someone who's been there a long time. You should probably pay. Same or not differently, but normally, Paul, positive. it's positive. The longer you work somewhere, the more you get paid there. Hourly wage, but it's, look, you gave me a couple dots, and it does fit your description, but generally it does go out positive. <clears throat> so are you talking about when you said the longer you work there, that you get, uh, you get more money? Yeah. Uh, no, that you get a higher <laughs> wage? No. Tenure? I'm starting to pull out like some bird. I don't. Not when you get first class, when you get promoted, uh, you get promoted, promoted. You could get promoted. Yeah. Oh. It tends to be like it tends to happen. Does it always happen? No. Have you? Can you think of some examples where that didn't happen? Yep. But generally it goes up. You notice on these graphs, like on that positive relationship graph, for example, this one, they weren't like this. They're not like that. They're like this. That means this. 
That means somebody who's worked there for this long, let's say 10 years, one person was still getting paid $10, but another person up there was getting paid $20. So are there instances where it doesn't work? Yes, but generally what happens? It goes up. And there might be someone down here, might be someone up there, but generally it goes up. Not always. We're not saying always, because that's impossible to say. Yep. Oh, um, well, Elijah, no, no, you're good. Really? And I'll, I can do this a little bit later because we got to move on. Shh. Oh, sorry. Okay. Um, here, I'll, I'll wait for you. That's okay. I'll, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do it later. I'll do it later. Okay. Um, let's go with number seven. It says, draw a line of best fit for each scatter plot. Tell whether each scatter plot shows positive, negative, or no correlation. Do number seven. Try to find the best fit line. Make sure it's straight. I don't want these squiggly lines. If you need something to like make it straight, just do that. But don't make it this like curvy, crooked line. Oh, I just did it. Whatever. Yeah, try your best. It's kind of like it's kind of confusing. Like, like, the ruler. Yeah. Oh, I mean, no, oh, not that. Like, yeah. Seeing where it goes. Like. Yeah, and so Thomas's line might go like this. Okay, your your yours will go like that, and then maybe <laughs> Emma's line will be like this. But both of you have what kind of po correlation on that one? It'd be a positive. All of you would have something that does this. Okay. None of you should have this on that best fit line. None of you should have this. No one should have that. That's a negative correlation. Yep, that's a positive. Positive, positive, positive. Okay. Do it for number nine. Do it for number nine. And don't say it. Just call it. Just do your best. Try to draw the best fit line. Your best. Don't say anything. Uh, just try it. Okay, good, good. So do we try to make our line touch all the dots? Well, you can't do that, but it has to be one line, straight line, that either touches most of the lines or is really close to all of them. Just do your best. You're going to see something here. Mine hits three dots. Yes, well, we do direct. If it doesn't hit, then we don't draw it, but we just scoop up what it is below. Yes. Okay, how many of you, when you drew your line, you got it to be a, like, kind of, it's more like positive? For seven? For number, yeah, the one I just told you to do. No, number nine. How many of you got more of a, like, kind of like a straight line? No. How many of you got more of a negative? Okay, so I honestly, listen, there is no best fit line because some of you could have put positive, some of you could have put even a straight line uh, horizontally, and some of you could have done negative. There is no correlation among those points, uh, so that would be no correlation. No, they don't have to touch because there's no one line that can touch all of them. You're trying to find the best fit. I mean, if you look at it, um, if I do a line that went right in between all of them or close to some of them, there's technically be the equal number below it and above it. So it's tough. And I'm not going to give you two hard ones. Uh, do it for number 10. Number 10. So number 10, you have all these dots. And you're like, what line would best describe where those dots are. Now, is that line going to hit all those dots? No. Oh, but it's going to, but it's going to get close to most of them and it's going to go in this direction. Ellie, what direction did you get it to go? So, left to right it goes goes down. That's a negative relationship. That is correct. So, you guys should have that on number 10. Everyone okay with that? Okay, good. That's so Elijah could you do those lines? Yeah. Could you t tell me negative, positive, or no? That's what I want from the lesson. All right. No homework from that lesson. Let's move on to 6-4. So go to page 162. <coughs> this is a great segue to slope of a line. And I'm going to cut this in half.